so this is an episode on bar statistics and this would be divided into different parts first of all we will see the different types of data basically in bar statistics and that are qualitative data and quantitative data here if we see the difference between them then the qualitative data is referring to the quality of a individual so basically here we calculate or we count individual as an observation so number of individuals okay for example number of boys with specs so that would be specs is the attribute and and having the this attribute number of students and this type of data will be the qualitative data and this data we can have rate ratio and proportion this data is obviously discrete because it cannot have continuous data and they can be represented by diagrams and they include the pie chart sectorial the pictogram for element and sport diagram the bar chart looking on to the quantitative data okay quantitative data is a continuous measure it is a continuous measure and it cannot break for example blood pressure cannot be 120 and then directly 140 it's 120 121 it has a continuous range so here for example we say height or weight or blood pressure hemoglobin they are all attributes and this is basically calculated in one person and if we take that people with 12 g hemoglobin number of people with 12 g of hemoglobin and that again is an qualitative data because here we are counting the number of people and not this attribute right and it was a continuous and as it is quantitative it has mean median and mode so that we can find the mean the median and the mode of the data they can be diagrammatically represented as the histogram we would come to the diagrams later i'm just naming them second is frequency polygon the frequency curve that is the cumulative frequency and the line diagram now we will see how we find the mean okay it is represented as x or mu right so this is mean for an ungrouped data we can find mean as sigma x upon n and for group data for the group data we have x bar is equal to sigma f x upon n this is the frequency this is the observation and this is the sample number sample size number of data and now we will find the median what is median median is the middle most value the middle most value is the median now for ungrouped data what is the process for finding the median is arrange the observations into ascending or descending order and then apply n plus 1 upon 2 of 
n by 2 for odd and even respectively. So this would be the observation. This would give the nth observation, nth observation among that series, nth observation among that series, and that would be the median. And this is for the ungrouped data. So that was for the odd and even number of observation respectively. Now we'll find the median for the group data and the median for the group data is given by the formula L plus N by two minus the cumulative frequency upon frequency into class width, right? This is for the grouped data. So now we will see what these letters means. This is the lower limit of the median class, attributing as NC. And this would be the class width, right? The cumulative frequency would be of the preceding class. And this would be the frequency of median class, right? And basically this n by two will give us the median class. So you have a question in your mind, how to find the median class, how to find this class. So we have, we will make a separate column of the cumulative frequency and the total of what we will get is n, right? And this divided by two, because we are finding the median, the basic formula is n by four, but because we are finding the median, it would be two n by four is equal to n by two. And that will give us the median class. And after finding the median class, we will proceed as the lower limit of the median class, the frequency of the median class, cumulative frequency of the preceding class to the median class. This is universal and this we have found out.